Hey, my name is Gaia Thien, and this video I'm going to talk to you about the worst books that I read in 2021. I have eight books to talk about today. Um, one of them is, well, more of a mixed, but the other seven. So I think I will do this um, from least worst to worst worst, I guess. Um, that kind of seems to make sense. Uh, but for my best books video, I won't be doing it that way because that's got lots of books in it and I'll be doing it more like per category. Honorable mention, I guess, is The Night I Met Father Christmas by Ben Miller, illustrations by Daniela Jaglinka Terrazini. This book wasn't terrible, it just wasn't what I was expecting. I think I rated it two and a half stars, so you know, it's not too bad. I think if I ever reread it, going into it knowing that it's a Christmas Carol returning will help. But um, I wanted to put some videos in this book, in what? <laughs> I wanted to put some books in this video, so yeah. Seven books that I had a problem with, yeah. Um, so, um, I guess on spot seven, if I count it correctly, we have Toen ik dood was by Luz den Hollander. By Luz den Hollander. I really liked the beginning of this book, but there's a thing that this author has been doing that I've noticed in some of her books. It's a problematic element. Let me put it that way. And I don't want to, because if I say it, it is a spoiler for some of the books. So, I don't want to just say it without warning, but that element, it just needs to go. So, this disappointed me for that reason. And um, so, more details on all of these books in the actual videos that I talk about them throughout the years I read them. Then we have The Space Between by Mac Graham. Um, this is a book in verse for, I think, young adults. And I don't know, it just didn't... Um, vibe with me I guess I just yeah I didn't really like this I don't quite remember my exact reasoning but I'm sure it's in the video in the wrap-up video or book review that I did on this book um, I just wasn't a fan um, but maybe you'll like it then in sport 5 we have An Amount is Echoed by Colette Hosseini this book wasn't what I thought it was um, it was marketed as a novel, which it isn't. It's a series of interconnected short stories. So that's one reason why this book disappointed me. The other is that there was one character in here and I, for the longest time, couldn't stand him for some um, personal reasons and some ableism that he was having, that he was... Um, it gets better later on, but he was ableist in the beginning, let me put it that way, and it just hit me personally, and, well, again, more details in the wrap-up that I talked about this book, but this was one of my lower-rated books of 2021. Then we have, and I have a note because I, this was actually a library loan, Geven de Vijf by Colette de Bruin. I think I talked a little bit more in detail about this book in the video that I talked about this book. Um, this is an um, information book about autism. Uh, it is dated, um, so I don't have the book here because it was a library loan, so I have to try and remember. Um, for the remember, it was dated. It contains some things that I didn't think would have worked that well for me um, when I was an autistic kid because it is a book marketed towards the neurotypical parents of autistic children. Um, yeah, I had several problems with this book. Um, it might have been better um, at the time that it came out, although I still don't think I would have liked it, but yeah. Anyway, um, I did read books two and three in this series in earlier years, and I liked those more. So I already also knew the basic concepts that this book discusses, so yeah, anyway. Then number three is Monster by Marco Grant, book one in the Gorm spin-off series. I really enjoyed the Gorm series itself. Um, I really liked it. Um, and this just wasn't... Um, for one, there were diversity elements shoehorned into this that it made me feel like the author just wanted to tick all of the diversity boxes. Um, there was a trope used in here that um, was racist 
um, or is I don't quite remember exactly, um, but um, also that was, and I hope it's not too much of a spoiler, um, a certain character brought back from the dead without explanation. Things didn't make sense in connection with the previous series and how it ended and yeah. So like there were some enjoyable parts in this but mostly it was just a nope and yeah, it, <laughs> it was a disappointment. Then we have um, on number two, um, well it's in the, the second worst book there in 2021, um, West End Girl by Jenny Colgan. Um, I don't remember lots about this book. Um, I remember there was fat phobia in this and that it is dated, but I did manage to finish it, which is more than I can say for another book that I tried by this author, which is called Operation Sunshine, which I tried to read a few years ago and I just DNF'd it. Um, but I've heard that some of her other, especially more recent books, are, are, are really, really good. And I will be trying those, um, well, seeing as I already own some of them, I might as well give them a try at some point. Um, but yeah, this was... I don't remember a whole lot about it, other than the things I've already mentioned, so it's probably in the video which I talk about it. Yeah. And then we get to the worst book that I read in 2021, and uh, one of you might have might be able to guess this. It is The Woman Who Went to Bed for a Year by Sue Townsend. I held on to this book so that I could put it in this video. Um, this book was awful. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, but there is um, racism in this, ableism, um, people making fun of, uh, people with mental health problems. Um, I can't remember exactly all the details or what else was in here. Um, I, I can't remember if there was phobia in here, but this was basically just a big no. Yeah. And it was set up to be a funny book. I didn't find it funny at all. Yeah. This isn't a bit of an older book, but not that old. And I just, well, I'm sure, again, that my reasons why I didn't like this were in the video that I talked about it, other than the things I've just mentioned. Um, I seem to recall as well that there's no autistic character in here that was not treated well and I just, yeah. This was just a no for various problematic reasons. So, uh, this is one of my lowest rated books ever on Goodreads, I think. Just, no. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna have a whole lot more best books to talk about, gladly. Um, and I don't think I DNF'd anything in 2021 that I can remember. So that's good, I guess. Um, I feel like I mostly had like good but not great reads, although there will be a lot of books in my best books video. But some of, yeah, like in terms of that I, the rating that I gave them. Anyway, rambling. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.